Hi, this is Holly Taylor, Assistant State Naturalist for Tennessee State Parks, and today we're continuing our series on spring ephemerals in Tennessee here at Edgar Evans State Park, and we have another beautiful spring ephemeral to talk about today. So let's hit the Highland Rim Nature Trail and see if we can find some. So here we are on the Highland Rim Nature Trail at Edgar Evans State Park, and behind me you can see this big stand of this beautiful deep indigo blue purple flower. And this is dwarf larkspur, or delphinium tricorn. And it's pretty commonly found throughout the state of Tennessee, at least the eastern two-thirds of the state. And this is a species that likes dappled shade, wooded areas, but a little more sunlight than some of the ephemerals do. And it also prefers calcareous soils, which means limestone soils. By the way, what's the state rock of Tennessee? limestone. Right. So, they like calcareous soils. So this is the most typical color of delphinium tricorn, this really deep purple color. But you can also occasionally find it in pink or white or even bicolored individuals. And this just kind of has to do, as far as I know, it's a genetic anomaly. I don't think that it has to do with where it's growing. But most of the time it's this beautiful indigo color. So let's get you in close to the flower and take a look at the features of it. So the common name larkspur comes from this structure here on the back of the flower, which is a nectar spur. And it looks sort of resembles a spur on a lark's foot, which is where it comes from. A lark is a kind of bird. And then you have the Latin name. Now, the genus of this wildflower is delphinium. And delphinium stems from the Greek word for dolphin, which is delphi or delphus. And supposedly, the unopened buds sort of resemble a dolphin in shape. So I'll turn this sideways and let you decide. So this is supposed to look like a dolphin, according to some people. I think you have to use your imagination a little bit, but that's where the delphinium comes from. And then you have the second part, the specific epithet, tricorn. And this means three-horned. And this is referring to the seed pods, or the fruits, there's three of them. It's a three-pronged fruit, sort of claw-shaped, and that's where tricorn comes from. So you can probably tell by looking at the long nectar spur on this flower that you need a pollinator that has a long pollinating apparatus. And the number one pollinators of delphinium are bumblebees, long-tongued butterflies and moths, and even hummingbirds. You'll see a wide variety of other pollinators visiting the flowers, like other long-tongued bees or even bee flies, but these aren't as efficient at pollinating. Really, it's only the, the long-tongued species, or the longest-tongued species, that can reach that nectar and successfully pollinate the flower. So this species is propagated by dropping its seed, and it can also propagate itself by the rhizomes, or roots. And it can form some pretty large stands so this plant is in the buttercup family, or ranunculaceae, and like pretty much all of the members in this family, it is toxic, especially to mammals. So in areas where you have, say, heavy deer populations, you'll see a lot of this wildflower and sometimes little else because it's one of the few things that they will not eat. This is a species that can actually be cultivated successfully in your home gardens but we would always encourage you to seek out native plant nurseries to obtain your native plants if you're wanting to include them in your yard. And it's of course against the law to dig up plants in protected areas like state parks and natural areas. And also, it's not a good idea because it can really have a negative impact on these populations of wild plants. So it's a good idea to support these businesses, these native plant nurseries, and you can also protect wild populations by giving them your business. And the, the added benefit of that is you can actually talk to the growers and get cultural tips and also get recommendations for things that will grow well on your property. I hope you've enjoyed today's video about Delphinium tricorn or dwarf larkspur. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. And we look forward to seeing you in our next wildflower video. So thanks for watching.